Hey guys, what's up? I'm back doing another review. This time it's gonna be on some big boy baits. Um, I did do a review way back when I first started making videos. Well, not way back, but back when I first started making videos. Um, and I have to say, I made them before I actually knew what I was doing. I didn't know how to, sp like, speak on a camera. I didn't know how to be professional. Well, I, I still don't know how to speak on a camera. Like, to be completely honest with you, I still have... I stutter, and I have to make at least three different videos to actually get a successful one without me stuttering constantly. But, this is the first try, by the way. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But, yeah, I had no idea what I was doing, and really, I was... Like, com the video was compacted into ten minutes when it shouldn't have been, because these baits deserve a whole lot more time being reviewed than that. So, right now, just going to be reviewing... The Big Boy Baits Swamp Eel, and the Big Boy Baits, uh, I was hoping this wasn't going to happen. The Big Boy Baits Tapeworm. There we go, Tapeworm. Alright. Swamp Eel, Tapeworm. Let's start off with a Swamp Eel. Now, these things, these Swamp Eels, are, well, they could range anywhere from about six to seven inches in length it depends on how they cool basically because some in here they're bigger some are sm some are smaller but that this i got these way back when he like not when he first started but when he was still relatively new um so yeah he probably hasn't perfected by now but these things are just amazing nonetheless i mean he does pour over, pour them out of an open mold so they have a flat side, but that actually helps with this because this is a finesse. This is a finesse worm. This is something you'd rig on a shaky head, or on any jig head, or weightless if you really want. You could use this as a jerk bait even if if you wanted to really. But yeah, this is something you would rig on a jig head, shaky head. You could even rig it weightless if they're really inactive, because literally it falls through the water like this, just like extremely slowly there's like hardly any salt in these and like i said they're about six six and a half inches in length um it starts off at a, a fat meaty head right here for easy rigging has some detail right there i don't know if you could see it my camera doesn't have a focus which is which blows my mind i don't know how you could have a sports camera without focus but yeah Starts off with a really fat head, easy rigging, has some uh, texture there, and as you can see, it slowly tapers down into this bubble tail right here. What that does, when it goes to the water, it just creates like a little ripple in the tail as it floats down. Um, this color is, I don't know the exact name of it, but I'm pretty sure it's watermelon. It, it has like, it's like green, obviously, as you can see there with a whole bunch of different flake flakes it's like it's basically like a watermelon candy it's watermelon with green orange blue yellow and black i'm pretty sure i covered all the colors in there but yeah a ton of flakes in there of all different sizes to really grab the fish's attention right there and on to the other colors here is this black ice color like, as you can see, hold on, let me just show you. I don't know if, no, they're the same size, just, just checking. But, yeah, this color is obviously black. It's in its name, it's black ice. It's black with red flake, red, red and gold flake. Yeah, black with red and gold flake. Uh, and it's slightly transparent, slightly. Um, this is a great color if you're fishing, you know, darker bottoms, anything like that, um, yeah, great color, again, there's the bubble tail, same exact thing as the other worm, great color, right here, same thing, swamp eel, this color is in the smoke, smoke, this is a great color, as you can see, it is very transparent, you can see my finger right through it, um, Basically what he does, he heats up plastic, just clear plastic, 
and he adds a few drops of black, so it slightly tints it black, but it's still it's still see-through. It just has a tint of black in it, and it has really small black flake. You, so small you probably can't even see it. But this is also a great color right here. Okay. Swamp Eels, they're like $4? $4 for a pack of five. And that may, that may seem expensive to you, but as you may know, Kyle hand pours each and every one of these by himself. Like, not obviously by himself, but hand pours each and every one of these by hand. He makes the mold... Well, he makes the master out of clay then he makes a mold out of that and that's what he pours into so everything you're getting is completely 100 percent made by him so really soft plastic really stretchy and durable just amazing action right here we have the big boy baits tapeworms let me just get both colors out these worms do differ in length like as you can see right there they start at the same length at the same point and one's like half an inch bigger but you know that's not really that big of a deal um still has the same action not going to affect anything still going to catch just as much fish right here i got this in the salt and pepper color it's just white with black and silver flake that's what that is this is a very thin lure, bait, whatever, soft plastic, as you can see, very soft, and it has a bunch of textured ridges that are completely symmetrical, completely 100% the same each ridge, which is really amazing, because he makes each and every one of these by hand, out of clay, so it's amazing he can get that much detail into one lure. Like I said, really thin, great wacky rig. You can't really see it because I'm looking on an angle, but it's gr great wacky rig action. Just hook it right to the center. Um, like I said before on the Swamp Eel, every lure has a flat side. And what I love about this bait, this bait is just great because you could rig it one side, Texas rigged, right? Right through there, Texas rig. Once that goes... You could flip it over to this side and Texas rig. Not going to change the action because all the plastic is still there. There's just a big hole in it so you can't put a hook in it without it sliding down. And then once both sides are messed up, you can go right to that wacky rig. So basically each worm you get three uses out of, which is an amazing feature. These things catch fish. It's hard to explain. To be honest, to be quite honest with you, it's really hard to explain. I don't know how or why it catches fish. It just does. It must be like the slow fall and just how it looks while it's falling. Don't know how to explain it, but these things are amazing too. I, I'm the the costs are escaping me right now, but you know they they're like three no four or five dollars for a pack of five. I'm I'm guessing four dollars. $4 for a pack of five. Like I said before, it may seem expensive, but it's high-quality plastic, all 100% handcrafted, hand-poured in USA. This is a custom color because Big Boy Baits is just an extremely custom company. To be, I'm saying, to be honest with you, way too much. But there's a huge amount of customization uh, within the company of Big Boy Baits. This is a custom color I asked for. It's just black and white. No, black and white. Black and blue flake. And, you know, it's a great color. Black and blue flake is always a great color for fishing. It always has been. It always will be. Don't know how it works. It always does. Um, same lure, everything, like I said about that, just in black and blue flake. Now, let me get into that customization. This, like I said before, I asked, just, I sent him a message asking for one of my packs in Black Blue Flake. And he said, yeah, no problem. What's awesome about that, he does it no extra charge. Now, you can customize any color you want. You can take a picture of a bluegill you caught out of your 
pond and send it to him and he'll try to replicate that color best as he can for no charge whatsoever. He could also add extra salt, no salt, glow powder, and his own homemade scent. So that's really great. No extra charge, complete customization. That's what I love about Big Boy Baits. Um, yeah, that's that pretty much wraps up my review. Um, thanks for watching. Really hope you check out Big Boy Baits. There's a link to his Facebook, his website, his YouTube channel, all on my channel. You can go and check him out. Great lures. Everything he makes is just amazing. I, I love his company, and I will support it as long as it's around. Um, thanks for watching my review, and have a nice day.